The sixth month of pregnancy is an important time for the development of the growing baby. During the sixth month of pregnancy, the baby is about 12 to 16 inches long and weight around 680 to 907 grams. Many of the baby's organs and body systems are becoming more fully formed, and they may even begin to exhibit more distinct patterns of activity and rest. At the same time, the mother's body is also changing and adjusting to accommodate the growing baby. Understanding the key milestones and changes that occur during the sixth month of pregnancy can help expectant mothers and their partners prepare for the exciting journey ahead. To help us grow our channel and reach more people, we kindly request that you like, share, and subscribe to our content. Baby Growth At this stage, the baby is still quite small but it is growing quickly and starting to fill up more of the uterus. Its head, body, and limbs are well proportioned, and it may even have developed some body fat that helps to regulate its body temperature. On average, the fetus is around 12-16 inches long and weight between 680 to 907 grams. As the baby grows and puts on weight during the sixth month of pregnancy, the mother may notice a corresponding increase in her own weight and changes in her body shape. Brain Development The baby's brain is rapidly developing during the sixth month of pregnancy. At this stage, the cerebral cortex which is responsible for higher cognitive functions such as language and consciousness, is starting to become more organized. During this time, the baby's brain also undergoes a process called gerification, which is the formation of folds and grooves on the surface of the brain. This increases the brain's surface area allowing more neurons to fit in and enabling more complex cognitive processing. As for sensory development, the baby's eyes and ears are fully formed by the end of the sixth month, and they can now see and hear. By the end of the sixth month, the baby's brain will have formed most of the neurons, nerve cells, that it will need. These neurons will continue to mature and form connections with each other throughout the remainder of the pregnancy and after birth. Movement and Coordination As the baby grows and develops, its movements become more coordinated and purposeful. It may be able to flex and extend its limbs, and it may even start to roll over or change positions in the uterus. The baby's movements become more coordinated as their nervous system and muscles continue to develop. By this stage, the baby is able to move their arms and legs more purposefully and may even be able to suck their thumb or grasp their own foot. These movements are important for the development of the nervous and muscular systems, and they also provide opportunities for the baby to explore its environment and develop new skills. The baby's movements may also become more noticeable to the mother during this time, as they become stronger and the more frequent. The mother may feel the baby kicking, punching, and even somersaulting in the womb. Gender Development by the end of the sixth month of pregnancy, the fetus's sex is usually visible on an ultrasound. If the baby is male, their testes will have already started to develop and produce testosterone. If the baby is female, their ovaries will have already formed. However, it's important to note that the external genitalia of the baby may not fully develop until later in the pregnancy. Respiratory System The lungs continue to develop and expand, 
and the baby begins to practice breathing movements in preparation for life outside the womb. The baby also begins to produce surfactant, a substance that helps keep the air sacs in the lungs from collapsing and sticking together, which is critical for breathing after birth. The baby's lung tissue becomes more complex, and the number of capillaries, tiny blood vessels, surrounding the air sacs increases. This allows for more efficient exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the baby's blood and the air in the lungs. Additionally, the baby's respiratory muscles become stronger, and the respiratory center in the brain becomes more mature. This allows the baby to practice breathing movements, such as inhaling and exhaling amniotic fluid, which is necessary for the development of the respiratory muscles and lung tissue. Immune System The immune system of the baby starts to develop during the sixth month of pregnancy. The immune system produces antibodies which are essential for protecting the fetus from infections that may be present in the mother's body. The mother also passes antibodies to the baby through the placenta, which provides additional protection against infection and helps to strengthen the baby's immune system. Emotional Development The baby is capable of experiencing a range of emotions during the sixth month of pregnancy. It may respond to its mother's voice or touch by becoming more active, and it may also exhibit signs of stress or discomfort in response to external stimuli such as loud noises or sudden movements. The development of emotional regulation and expression is an important part of overall cognitive and social development and lays the foundation for healthy relationships and mental health in the future. As the fetus grows and develops, it requires more nutrients and energy to support its increasing size and complexity. It is important for expectant mothers to eat a healthy, balanced diet during the sixth month of pregnancy, and to make sure they are getting enough nutrients such as protein, iron, calcium, and folic acid. From the maturation of major organs and systems to the development of more complex behaviors, emotions, and cognitive abilities, this period lays the foundation for the baby's health and well-being throughout life. By understanding these key milestones and changes, expectant parents can prepare for the arrival of their baby and take steps to promote optimal health and development. Subscribing to our channel is the best way to stay up to date on our latest content and receive notifications when new videos are posted.